Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution uh, term to discuss. A uh, pretty interesting topic, and that's on the Steemit social media platform. And I'm going to go over a brief overview of it and basically look at uh, Steemit, which is a social media platform built on a blockchain called Steam. Hashtag get on Steam. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. You can uh, get paid to post and comment, which is quite revolutionary. So let's jump right in. Uh, first of all, I want to make a note. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out just how Steemit and its monetary payments work. So in this video, I'll go over just a brief overview of Steemit and what it is. And in later videos, uh, yeah, I may do uh, further videos going over some of the Steemit specifics and detail once I learn more. So stay tuned. And, and also because I'm new to this whole blockchain uh, and cryptocurrency uh, yeah, topic or concept. So yeah, uh, as I learn more about that, I might do some videos on that as well. So let's uh, first let's look at the Wikipedia how they describe Steemit, and then I'll just, then I'll just go over uh, some of Steemit's yeah cap capabilities and uh, etc. Just how it looks. So Steemit is a social news service which runs a blogging and social networking website on top of a novel blockchain database known as Steam. Here's the logo. But I believe uh, it's currently uh, the Steemit logo. I believe it's currently in beta, the Steemit uh, website. So it's a type of site, social news uh, community available in mainly Eng English. Content is available in several languages. Uh, that's basically as if you post different um, yeah, languages, uh, you're going to get different uh, languages, whatever you post. So anyways, steemit.com uh, website. That's the uh, URL. Its registration is free, mandatory for editing. Editing, that's obvious. If you want to edit, you got to sign up. So, yeah, so it's free, but you can make money off it. And in fact, you can make money off it right away, which is pretty cool. Users, uh, as of March 13, 2017, over 135,000. I believe it's much more now. It was launched last year in March. Current status is active. Let's just click here and see how it is. Yeah, so here's how it's uh, the home page is. Pretty much whatever you're following. I'm not following much right now, so you're going to see it blank. And here it is on the right is a bunch of tags and uh, topics. Here, usually what's trending, let's click on what's new. You, you can see what's new here is this 16 seconds uh, ago post. And you can see the revenue here and the upvotes. These are uh, pretty new. But even, even here, it is one minute ago made 19 cents. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, if you go to the uh, hot, what's hot? So as you can see here, this is pretty amazing. It's $140 right there, and this was 48 minutes ago posted in the science uh, hashtag. So that's quite amazing. 40 minutes, uh, you get uh, 148 bucks, and that's U.S. dollars of equivalent steam, I believe. Yeah, and you, you can also see what's trending here. I believe that's just a longer period of trending as opposed to that hot one. Uh, as you can see here, some of these, some of these guys six hours ago, four hundred uh, dollars. That's a lot, a lot of money. And also, I want to make a note here. Uh, yeah, basically, when you sign up, first thing I want, I, I suggest everyone to do is just go do a um, a post uh, on use the hashtag introduce yourself, just describing how you got on here, what made you go on here, and what's your view on it. Because usually those posts do well because this is, this is a new social media platform. A lot of people are reading uh, who the newcomers are and you can make a lot of money. This is from Team Steam. Uh, there's also a note here. Verify your introduction post if you're a YouTube channel or whatnot and, and uh, you want to verify it's you in here. Uh, basically put some sort of yeah, link on your channel or, or video describing that this is actually you because uh, some people, yeah, some people might actually just fake an introduction post from a big YouTuber and make some money off it, pretending there's someone uh, they're not. Like, for example, if you pretend you're PewDiePie and you're on here, <laughs> yeah, you can make a lot of money, but PewDiePie, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's kind of hard to fake it because he can easily just make a video. Uh, yeah, so you can easily verify himself by making a video uh, talking about his new Steam it. Page, etc. So yeah, uh, make sure to read that one. Uh, this is a good in introductory yeah, FAQs and notes and pointers. This is by the team Steam, I believe. So that's the official uh, Steam team. So anyways, uh, check that out. Let's go to my channel. Also, you can check promote it. So you can promote posts as well uh, using the uh, yeah the whole Steam uh, cryptocurrency. And here's the promote it. Uh, here's a the tab there. Anyways, let's go to my channel. Uh, my channel so I'm at at, at MES so make sure to follow me and as you can see here posted uh, just 
a couple of, uh, yeah, just hours ago. And as you can see, made some dollars, three dollars. I believe my highest earning one was about uh, thirty dollars, etc. So it's pretty cool. You can see the upvotes, and and you can just sort out by comments. And this fifty-one here, this is a reputation score. I believe you just start off with twenty-five. I'll discuss more about this later. And also, you can go to your wallet here. Okay, so I have some more uh, rewards to redeem. I'll just click. Uh, yes, okay, so we click that one and it shows you the history right here. So I have about $71 uh, worth of uh, value here, and I believe the Steam dollars that's that I have that's uh, that I could spend anywhere is 23 and then uh, and this part I'm not exactly sure how this all works in later videos I might go into that but anyways that's how it is and you can go submit a story this is a really cool editor you can put five tags and and the first tag has your main categories you can just type do whatever and you can split the rewards differently and I'll uh, talk a, a briefly about that so now let's just jump in here just go over more of an overview of steam it if you go to Wikipedia the history of it, the project was founded in 2016 by Ned Scott and Dan Lermier, creator of BitShares, the two are founders of the Steemit Inc. company, which runs the Steemit website and funds ongoing development of the platform. So the idea was described in a white paper released in March 2016. I'll go over that white paper shortly. Uh, basically, the general concept is similar to other blogging websites or social news websites like Reddit, but the text is contained. Uh, the, the text content is saved in a blockchain. Using a blockchain enables rewarding comments and posts with secure tokens of value. So that's the whole idea about uh, blockchain. You can have yeah, a secure way of uh, setting value for whatever, whatever, either it's currency or you want to reward comments and posts or, or uh, posts that have a lot of comments or a lot of upvotes, etc. And then value those higher. And then ultimately tie it to some sort of uh, currency as long as it's super secure and that's what blockchain uh, does. So also images can be uploaded and hosted on Steemit. Other multimedia content must be embedded from other web posts. You can't put videos right now, but you could also, but you can upload um, uh, yeah, images to Steemit. In fact, you just copy and paste any image and it will, you can just, yeah, any image right into that uh, text box and it will just automatically make one. Yeah, let's just do that right now, actually. Let's just do a screen capture here just to illustrate it. So I click uh, copy. I'm just using the uh, snipping tool. So just click copy. And if you go to here, so if you go here and then highlight paste, as you can see what's happening is uploading and now makes a text code there. But if you s scroll here in the preview one, you see the image right there, which is quite amazing. This is actually <laughs> my favorite part about it. And uh, I'll be putting these exact notes actually in Steemit, so check that out. Yeah, after I make this video, I'll be putting it all there. Yeah, so let's go further. So users, uh, user uh, accounts can upvote posts and comments, and the authors get, who get upvoted can receive a monetary reward in a cryptocurrency token named Steam and US dollar pegged tokens called Steam dollars. So people are also rewarded for curating popular content. Curating involves voting comments and post submissions. Vote strength and curation rewards are influenced by the amount of Steam power held by the voter. Steemit has a reputation system uh, where new accounts start off with a reputation of 25, so I believe mine was 51 by now. And accounts receive votes can influence its reputation up and down, incentivizing online etiquette. Or etiquette, uh, pronounce it wrong. So yeah, it's pretty cool stuff right there. I'll uh, elaborate this more in uh, yeah, later videos. Basically, this is this has a pretty cool reputation system, and that also affects how much money you make. So, Steam Power. So, the difference, the main difference between Steam and Steam Power. So, that Steam is the main cryptocurrency there. Steam Power, commonly abbreviated SP, is basically Steam, but has been entered into a smart contract and represents the amount of influence an account has compared to the rest of the network. The more steam power an account has, the higher influence its vote has on posts and comments. So that's pretty cool. So it's like, it's just a steam put into a contract that uh, influ that basically represents your influence uh, and your reputation, etc. Or influence that you can yeah, uh, upvote and make that trend or, or whatnot or earn more money. I'll have to uh, dig into that a bit later. And steam dollar, commonly abbreviated SBD, is an asset intended to be pegged to the United States Dollar. So this is the part I still need to figure out. It's like Steam, but now this is 
believe this is more of a yeah more of a yeah an investment or a stock where you can yeah where you can basically kind of like invest into the whole Steemit uh, company. Yeah, and whereas uh, Steam increases in value or the uh, users, more and more people come on, more and more money go, goes up, I believe the Steam dollar rises as well and you could buy stuff with it. Something like that. I'll have to, uh, again, dig into it later. So, and also there's an internal market on the Steam blockchain and integrated in the Steamit website where Steam can be traded with Steam dollars and vice versa. So, this is the part that I'm still trying to figure out. If you uh, have some information, let, comment below and let me know. Yeah, more about it. So anyways, as of uh, December 2016, there are more than 120,000 Steam accounts. After initial public beta for which no payments were made, the hard fork on July 4th, 2016 saw $1.3 million of Steam and Steam dollars paid out to Steam at users. It's quite amazing. So in uh, also further, in most of July 2016, Steam had the third uh, largest market capitali capitalization of all cryptocurrencies monitored by the website coinmarketcap.com so yeah it's rising and Investopedia uh, Adam Hayes in July 2016 said Steemit has been described as a novel and disruptive blockchain based media community and it is I believe very disruptive it's gonna uh, it can yeah, shake things up in these social media and even uh, cryptocurrency uh, markets and also if you go to Google search trends and type Steemit here this is from January 1st up to just a few days ago um, yeah, January 1st of last year, as you can see, uh, barely anything, any, any uh, people searching for it. All of a sudden, you have a giant spike there, spike there, and then nothing here. And then this is recent, uh, possibly because uh, I went on <laughs> hashtag jokes. But anyways, uh, it, I believe it is going to be pretty big. So yeah, Steam is picking up Steam. Hashtag get on Steam, especially before uh, before later when other people have already built a huge reputation on it and a lot of uh, money and influence so get on there early again in my opinion so just a uh, wikipedia of blockchain again again i'm new to this so blockchain originally uh, called blockchain with a space is a distribute is a distributed database that maintains a continuously uh, growing list of records called blocks secured from tampering and revision each block contains a timestamp and a link to a previous block by design, blockchains are inherently resistant to modification of the data. Once recorded, the data in a block can cannot be altered retroactively. So you can't just go on and uh, edit whatever timestamp or whatever uh, stuff you want. Uh, through the use of a peer-to-peer -peer network and a distributed timestamping server, a blockchain database is managed autonomously. So yes, it's by itself. So you don't need any centralized uh, bank or whatever uh, you're looking at or centralized control system. So blockchains are an quote open distributed ledger that can record transactions between two parties efficiently in a verifiable and permanent way. The ledger itself can also be programmed to trigger uh, transactions automatically. Here's a blockchain formation visualization. The main block, I mean, the main chain block consists of the longest series of blocks from the Genesis block green. So here you have blocks here that can never get changed, get yeah, rising up like that, uh, to the gr uh, current block uh, above there, uh, orphan blocks, purple exists outside of the main chain, so you can separate uh, them over across here, yeah, so again, this is a visual one, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out what this all means, but regardless, all this is recorded, and uh, that's the main thing, and it's unchangeable, so, um, yeah, so just uh, investopedia.com, general, what a ledger is, uh, uh, a general ledger is a company set of numbered accounts for its accounting records. The ledger provides a complete record of financial transactions over the life of the company. So yeah, that's pretty much if you're looking at cryptocurrency. And yeah, basically all, all bank, for example, is is just um, yeah, faci facilitating transactions. But if you can have something automatically doing that and tracking who's paying, what's paying, etc then you basically don't need a bank, which is pretty cool. Well, so now let's look at the white paper, but before I get to the white paper again, what is a white paper? A white paper is an informational document issued by a company to promote or highlight the features of a solution, product, or service. White papers are designed to be used as a marketing tool before a sale and not as a user manual or other technical document uh, developed to provide support to the user after making a purchase. So again, it's, it's, a, it's also like an overview of uh, the product. So here is the white paper. If you go to steam.io and there is the steam white paper P 
PDF. You can download it. It's pretty interesting. Some of the stuff is uh, yeah, just over my head at the moment. So Steam, an incentivized blockchain-based social media platform. Uh, this is the authors Daniel Larmier, Ned Scott, Valentin Zabrogranov, Benjamin Johnson, James Calfee, Michael Vandenberg, March 2016. So if you go to page two, it has the abstract. So Steam is a blockchain database that supports community building and social interaction with cryptocurrency rewards. Steam combines concepts from social media with lessons learned from building cryptocurrencies and their communities. An important key to inspiring participation in any, any community currency or free market economy is a fair accounting system that reflects uh, that consistently reflects each person's contribution. Steam is the first cryptocurrency that attempts to accurately and transparently reward an unbounded number of individuals who make subjective uh, contributions to its community, which is yeah, it's pretty interesting. If you go to page five, basically the Steam community provides the following services to its members. A source of curated news and commentary, a means to get high quality answers to personalized questions, a stable cryptocurrency pegged to the US dollar, free payments, uh, jobs providing above services to other members. Go to page eight. The Steam network calls these different asset classes Steam, uh, capitalized S-T-E-E-M, and the Steam Power SP, and Steam Dollars SMD. Again, Steam is the fundamental unit of, um, of account on the Steam blockchain. All other, all other tokens are derive their value from the value of Steam, either Steam capitalized or Steam like that. Moving forward, see what they uh, how they describe Steam dollars. So Steam dollars are created by a mechanism similar to convertible notes. Yeah, similar to convertible notes, and uh, yeah, briefly I just went up and <laughs> searched that up. So uh, convertible note, if you go here at seedinvest.com, convertible note examples and how it works. Basically, a convertible note is a form of short-term debt that converts into equity or basically stock slash ownership of uh, some sort of ownership interest or or other mechanisms of ownership, etc. Yeah, of the company. So it's basically like a loan, then you get a stock or ownership later on. Typically in conjunction with a future financing round. In effect, the investor would be loaning money to a startup and instead of a return in the form of principal plus interest, sort of just a typical bank loan getting interest on it, the investor would receive equity in the company. Yeah, so you would get yeah, some sort of ownership into the company. So Steam dollars are created by a mechanism similar to convertible notes, which are often used to fund startups. In the startup world, convertible notes are short-term debt instruments that can be converted to ownership at a rate determined in the future, exactly what I just uh, described. Typically during a future funding round, a blockchain-based token can be viewed as ownership in the, in the community, whereas a convertible note can be viewed as a debt denominated in any other com commodity or currency, in this case, uh, the uh, US dollars. And basically the terms of the convertible note allow the holder to convert to the backing token with a minimum notice at the fair market price of the token. Creating token convertible dollars enables blockchains to grow their network effect while maximizing the return for token holders. Yeah, so you could also buy, yeah, so I, I, my uh, belief is right now in this, how it works is you can buy the uh, Steam dollars and let's say US dollars, you pay $10 worth, and then those can rise as the value of Steam cryptocurrency rises as well, so you have some ownership in it. Okay, so I think that makes some more sense, but again, I'll confirm all this in later videos when I go in more detail, but this is basically an overview of it. Also, uh, later in this, no micropayments, tips optional, I just want to bring that up because you can tip people, but you don't need to do any micropayments. So under Steam, micropayments are paid to content producers, but those who vote for the content do not pay, so you don't actually pay anything. Yeah, instead, the cost of the reward is paid for via new tokens. Uh, furthermore, uh, I'll put another dot here. So furthermore, Steam pays people to figure out who should be paid. This kind of thinking is revolutionary. Anyways, uh, going to page 18, rate limiting voting. A major part of minimizing abuse is the rate limiting of voting because you don't want someone using a, a bot to just randomly upvote 
uh, thousands of people, etc., and just wrecking everything. Individual users can only read and evaluate so many work items per day. Any attempt to vote more frequently than this is a sign of automa automation and potential abuse. Through rate limiting, stakeholders who vote more frequently have each vote count for less than stakeholders who vote for less frequently. It just skips the page there. Now we go to page 24. Eliminating transaction fees. So Steam goes to great lengths to reward people for contributing to the network. It would be counterproductive to turn around and charge people every time they attempt to in interact with the community. And uh, this is because while working with blockchain technology, well, blockchain technology currently depends upon transactional fees to prevent spam. Uh, these fees suffer uh, all of the known problems with microtransactions microtransa and prevent blockchains from being used for low value transactions. Yeah, uh, for example, like an upvote, etc. So that's why blockchains. Yeah, that use these fees, well, you can't be using that kind of blockchain for something like social media where you're upvoting, uh, commenting, etc., which could be considered low value, just they're not that uh, much you know, relative to the just the grand scheme of things. So truly, de truly decentralized applications must offer the users appearance of free transactions if they wish to compete with their centralized alternatives. This paper outlines approach used by Steam to eliminate the need for fees while still eliminating uh, spam, and thereby en uh, and thereby enable a wide range of, per of previously untenable decentralized applications, again like social media, uh, bandwidth instead of micropayment channels. Yeah, so instead of micropayments, they, they actually work. Uh, they do something with the bandwidth of the the users, which is pretty cool. The solution to the problems with micropayments is in implementing dynamic fractional reserves. I'm not going to go into it. But in the paper, uh, in the white paper, they go, they explain more details. Again, it's uh, somewhat over my head, but it basically uses bandwidth and some algorithm with that to uh, prevent spam, as a, as a, uh, as yeah, as opposed to using um, yeah, transactional fees or uh, tiny micro payments, etc. So, anyways, uh, skip through that. So, censorship. Steam is a decentralized network that is operated by miners in jurisdictions around the world. All user actions are publicly re publicly recorded on the blockchain and can be publicly verified. This is actually very cool uh, and interesting here. This means that there is no single entity that can censor content that is valued by Steam holders. Individual websites such as Steamit.com may censor content on their particular websites. So Steamit can censor it. But content published on the blockchain is inherently broadcast traffic and mirrors all around the world uh, may continue to make it available. So even if they censor it, well, it won't appear on Steema.com, but you can obviously go and check uh, uh, previous versions of it. And, 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 and I believe you can also create a, a Steemit version that was before the censorship, which is uh, yeah, pretty amazing. And you can see who censored it and uh, otherwise. And... Yeah, I believe like that would be much more transparent than <laughs> current Google, uh, Facebook, just, you know, censoring alternative news. So, uh, freedom of speech is the foundation of all liberties and any infringement upon freedom of speech undermines the only peaceful means of reaching consensus, uh, which is discussion. Again, this is a great philosophy by the uh, writers here for Steemit. Without free discussion, voters cannot be fully informed and, un and uninformed voters are a greater threat to society then losing the right to vote, censorship is a means of stealing votes through limiting public discourse. Steam is committed to enab enabling free speech and building a free society. And also here's another uh, part here. So solving organic uh, discovery via search engine optimization. Uh, most cryptocurrencies generate little value for those who are not actively using the network. Steam by contract generates content and encourages users to share it. This context, uh, this content gets indexed by search engines and ultimately will bring value to a large number of passive users that are just searching random search engines. Uh, this search traffic creates yeah, organic advertising for the Steam network and grows the network effect. So yes, indexed by search engines. So yeah, this is a, actually a great, great for uh, the social media platform. I believe a lot of most Facebook stuff, like it's a lot of it is just private, especially if it's your own user profile. So th that kind of stuff won't be indexed, I believe. So anyways, under blockchain based social media, a creator or author would always be able to point to a public record and timestamp showing proof of their content origination. 
in a circumstance, a circumstance where a creator would like to address those who have reshared without permission or attribution, uh, blockchain-based records provide public proof that the content, content was posted by a particular user at a particular time. In the future, blockchain-based attribution could come to be recognized by governments for its authenticity and could hold weight in court, which would give content creators great, greater powers to control their work. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's pretty much anything you post on there has a timestamp, unchangeable, and you could easily prove in court, uh, at least at least in the future, if not already, that this was indeed your creation or whatever that may be, either a song or video or, or article or whatever. So blockchain-based pay payouts are completely digital and have no middleman. Therefore, monetization by blockchain-based content rewards should be faster and much lower barrier to use than monetization by advertisements. So yeah, it's uh, better than advertisements, especially if uh, advertisers uh, collude and start uh, you're boycotting certain <laughs> topics or channels. So then uh, it just kills channels like that or content creators' income. So you don't need to be uh, worrying about advertisers. Uh, like that, like I, like has been happening on YouTube. So anyways, conclusion, Steam is an experiment uh, designed to address challenges in the cryptocurrency and social media industries by combining the best aspects from both. Steam presents earning oppor opportunities to content creators and internet readers in, in ways that have not existed within the social media industry. Within Steam, individuals earn real rewards online that are directly correlated to their contributions. Those rewards will have uh, dollar value due to the market price discovery and liquidity of Steam and the people who hold Steam will have more uh, exclusive earning powers than those who do not. So yeah, hashtag get on Steam and also I posted on the introduce yourself. Uh, this was in May 11th, so yeah, about eight days ago. So I was new to Steam it and my uh, title was yeah, is this truly an uncensored platform for free market uh, ideas and will it continue to be so in the future? And uh, yeah, Felix uh, responded to it. Yeah, go read my post there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Felix responded, while Steam.com is privately run and can be censored, as I again learned as above, the Steam blockchain cannot be interesting. I'll, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this and respond. Please let me know if the following is accurate. Steam is on the Steam. Steam it is on the Steam blockchain. Steam it can be censored, but Steam cannot. Steam will record any censorship that occurs. So I'm new to all this, so yeah, if you can elaborate. So yeah, Steam is a blockchain. Steamit.com is a service by Steamit Inc. that lets you access the Steam blockchain and make transactions and read content. So yeah, because basically all, all we're doing is posting on Steam, uh, yeah, blockchain, and all Steamit is is just letting you access it in the way they want, which is the social media type platform. So Steamit.com could decide to hide content but not delete it from the Steam blockchain, you could then use other services or apps to access that data. And in fact, you could just go and create a replica steamit.com, which is actually pretty uh, cool. So you can create a replica, create a replica of uh, Steamit. And just from the previous version, before it was actually, or semi-replica, if you don't want to get sued, uh, before it was uh, censored. Your replica of Steamit. All right, before censorship, <laughs> so just pretty cool. Imagine doing that with Facebook. Before and then, yeah. So everyone would would jump off of the current Facebook if you can go back in time when it wasn't being censored, which is pretty amazing stuff. I was getting okay. I just fixed that up. I don't know why it took so long. So yeah, the blockchain is publicly accessible. The code for the blockchain can be reviewed at GitHub. So that's pretty cool. So I was all the code there too. So thanks for the info. Mage makes much more sense now. So note, uh, you can uh, you can view all the activity on your Steam account through SteamD.com. And so again, another way of uh, analyzing the data here is an archive of this. Well, I just archive everything just so you you see the exact one that I'm posting. So this is pretty cool. If you go to SteamD.com, you can check anyone's uh, uh, anyone's public. A profile and steam it and see exactly what has happened here. So see, uh, this is the ID one five five seven seven zero has the balance, and then has people who ever upvoted anything you did. Here's Titus Frost, popular uh, the popular YouTuber. Yeah, it's got some upvotes from him. It's cool, and also it tells you oh, MES author reward. This is the Steam dollars, I believe, two six 
you get 2.612, etc. Yeah, I believe that uh, that's Steam dollars. It's 1.006 MVS. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is as of yet. So anyway, since everything is recorded on the Steam blockchain, SteamD.com is just a website that visually shows and segments the data like that. And again, it's it's the same thing as Steam. It seems just and Steam D is just re representing the data in different ways. But Steam it allows you to get to post directly onto the blockchain, which is pretty cool. So pretty cool. So check it out. Also, I want to give a big thanks to Primers for the Steam donation. If you go to the history part of the wallet section here, Let's just click over here. So I'm gonna scroll back here. If you click on wallet and scroll down you can see the history of the rewards etc and yeah this uh, user primers yeah so he gave me some uh, tips here and also gave me some steam uh, currency which is pretty amazing so anyways thanks to uh, at primers for the steam donation and also give some uh, notes best math vids from the west keep up the great work and we'll look more and we'll look for more new more math videos and also ordering your vids into playlists would be great that's a good uh, idea so also I want to make a note note that you could check out my channel's playlists at here I may need to fix up the playlist a bit but I recommend doing a quote channel search for my specific videos or playlists for example if you go to uh, my channel math easy solutions and you can just click search for example polar coordinates playlist and I usually have some of these uh, playlists set up so polar coordinates you can watch them in order like that there's polar uh, parametric curves and equations uh, playlist etc so you can search playlists or you can just search the specific kinds of videos you want to see and also my videos are usually in chronological order so you can also browse through the videos tab and watch in whatever order you want that's usually what I do on random people's channels I just go to the video section and look at the order they have so uh, maybe later I can create posts on Steam that can that groups different videos together Hashtag great idea. Yeah, maybe just post it on Steemit with a giant list of videos to watch. So anyways, let's go over the summary right here. Steemit is a new social media and blogging platform built on top of the Steam blockchain ecosystem. Steemit has its own built-in cryptocurrency that pays both content creators and content uh, yeah, cur curators. <laughs> yeah, creators and curators, i.e. those that upvote, comment, and re-steam posts as well. Yeah, so those are the creators. Uh, so far, my experience on Steemit is great, and creating a new blog post and browsing tr uh, trending t uh, topics is very simple to do. A note, though, ex uh, except only issue I have so far is that you can't edit or re-steam old posts. Hashtag WTF. Ha hopefully they fix this in their non-beta version. For example, if I go to the uh, post that I did on here, this is the uh, the one I wrote on the introduce yourself one. So here's my post. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I just want to go over this again. So here's my post here. Uh, this is <laughs> well, the main reason I got onto Steemit is after seeing this from uh, YouTube. This was number 12 trending on YouTube. Yeah, and as you can see, this is from PBS NewsHour. It's talking about Senate Minority Leader uh, Schumer news conference on FBI Director Comey's dismissal. Notice the upvote downvote ratio <laughs> is very low and it's 44,000 views and it's 12 on trending. That's obvious. And the comments are disabled. That is absolute obvious that it's not actually trending. This is just propaganda. News outlet B, uh, PBS with only 40k views, a high downvote ratio, it's comments disabled and was somehow trending on uh, YouTube. Yeah, they're not even uh, pretending anymore to, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, pretending anymore. They're blatantly pushing whatever they want to push. So anyways, so as you can see here, there's no edit button here for some reason. This was eight days ago, and I can't re-steam it anymore, uh, which is which is weird. But for newer videos, you can do that. For example, you click Introduce Yourself, and yeah, let's click this one, YouTuber's Guide to Remonetizing with Steam It. And you can see there's a Steam re-steam button. Scroll to the bottom. Uh, for example, whatever this video is, is, and yeah, there's a re-steam button, but the other one I had, yeah, my video, because it's older, doesn't have one. So yeah, that was weird, and you can also can't edit, so hopefully they fix that up. Let's just scroll back here. So anyways, I want to, again, point out, I may go over more detailed videos exploring content creation, as well as exactly how the cryptocurrency payment system works. Again, once I figure it out, 
Ha ha. So hashtag stay tuned. And also want to point out the fact that Steemit is built upon a blockchain ecosystem makes it light years ahead of the current social media giants in terms of transparency and uh, yeah, fighting back and censorship and fighting for free speech. The likes of Google, Facebook, Twitter and Reddit make billions off the user generated and user created content of users. Yeah, of its users, <laughs> sentence is a bit jumbled, but anyways, but Steam looks to put that money towards the users instead. So instead of just the uh, the corporations making the billions now, the, off the basically off the backs of the users, users are uh, are all part of that whole ecosystem and part owners and making money off it. So it is for these reasons, for these reasons, censorship resistance blockchain ecosystem and getting paid to post, as well as the overall ease of use that I highly recommend everyone to hashtag get on Steam. So yeah, get on it a ASAP. Um, before it gets really big and then you've been <laughs> a bit late to the party. Anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to uh, go over this overview and later videos I'll um, look to do some you know, more detailed videos on exactly how Steam it works and some of the uh, payment systems itself, uh, etc. that it has. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these notes in the exact uh, these exact notes in the video description below as well as viewing these notes as an article at steamit.com slash MES, which I'll post after I upload this video. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.